Hi, my name is Krista. I'm with the Trackers Team's Immersion Program this year. And we're out here just outside of Forest Grove. Uh, we just slaughtered a 950-pound buffalo this morning, um, which was a very intense experience for several of us, um, watching such a large animal die. Um, I think knowing that we're going to do the best we can to work swiftly and, and use every single part of the animal and that it will benefit us as a group is kind of what's keeping us going here. But uh, we've got a lot of work to do still. Holy, we're skinning a buffalo. This is a much bigger project than I assumed it would be. Even with a dozen people here, it's going to take us all day. What's up? All right, so right now we are tearing off all of these white fleshy pieces of all the fat that we're saving, um, which has been an interesting process with these stomachs because there is a large hole right here that keeps emitting stomach gases in our faces as we're doing this. So we're trying to hide our heads into our scarves while we pull that away. Going on. Not it sure. Wants a testicle. Not sure what part of the animal I'm I in. Knew. Yeah, I was wondering where it was. I had a. <laughs> I had a friend. All right, so here we are. We are skinning the buffalo right now. We're using obsidian blades mostly, which I have right here. Has worked really well, um, as well as an obsidian knife. As you see, as you see Michelle has down here. Um, it's been a little trouble. We started up up top here at the legs, making circle cuts and slit that down to meet up with the breast cut. And then we've, we've been pulling off the skin mostly with mechanical action, but also going through with the blades as well. Yeah, of course. So what we're finding out is the uh, obsidian's doing pretty good the skin without cutting the skin. So taking the skin off, separating it from the animal, but without damaging the actual skin. So hopefully that will lead to better tanning success later. Why are you just fisting it? Why are you pulling it off? Because <laughs> this damn animal doesn't want to give it up. <laughs> we're working for it. Uh, I don't know. It could be the, the time of year, but it's freshly killed. So I'm, I'm kind of surprised, and I'll have to ask that question until I figure it out. It's a bison shoulder, front leg, delicious, nutritious, uh, huge haggis. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe even a bag of dog. This is bigger than the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. It's insane. And what is it? It's a backstrap from the buffalo. Check out the sinew. We're going to backstrap some bows and make some bow strings. Who knows? And they're handling dung with their bare hands. Amazing. <laughs> what and kind of dung? Um, I think it's buffalo dung. Well, what? that's obvious because it's yes. from a buffalo. So this is the buffalo hide that we just skinned. And we did the entire thing using primarily obsidian flakes and um, stone tools. Um, they worked really, really great to get the get the hide off the, off the meat, and uh, we're going to work on brain tanning this as the next step. It's working. Short sword.